Good afternoon. My name is Adam Cadlack. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Philosophy this year. And before I introduce our speaker today, I'd like to once again invite people to the public and free reception out in the hallway after uh, questions and answers for more conversation and discussion and food and drink. So, unlike our two previous introducers, uh, my acquaintance with Professor Appia doesn't extend beyond when I picked him up at the airport earlier this week. Uh, unlike John Haight, I have not, alas, been a fellow at Princeton Center for Human Values. And unlike George Sakata, I don't have a recollection of a personal conversation with Mr. Appia at King's College, Cambridge, which I hesitate to note seems to have taken place in the year of my birth. <laughs> but I can, however, make some brief comments that locate my appreciation for our speaker's work, and I hope that will set an appropriate scene for this afternoon's lecture. G.E. Moore is famous, or at least what passes for famous among academic philosophers, for saying, I do not think that the world or the sciences would ever have suggested to me any philosophical problems. What has suggested philosophical problems to me is things which other philosophers have said about the world or the sciences. For Moore, the impetus to philosophical reflection seems to have come from encountering the practice of philosophy itself. If you contrast this with philosophical reflection that is, as I would say, kicked in gear more directly by an attempt to understand the world, as well as an attempt to live well in that world, or understand what it is to live well in that world, I think you'll begin to get the flavor of Professor Appiah's philosophical endeavors. Whatever it is his attempts to understand, excuse me, whether it is his attempts to understand the remarkably strange phenomenon of human language, or the remarkably difficult task of living together in a world rife with conflicting opinions and disagreements, he writes as one who have been, would have been gripped by such questions, even if there were no academic discipline concerned to study them. This is not necessarily to disparage Moore or his experience. It is merely to note as one who has been moved to philosophy by a direct confrontation with the world, that in the academy where conflict and competition often rule the day, discovering a shared sensibility can sometimes be a tremendously welcome and encouraging experience. What then of the theme of Professor Appiah's work? Here it seems appropriate to let our speaker speak for himself. Uh, writing in his recent book, Experiments in Ethics, he notes, when I find myself next to a talkative stranger on a plane, I sometimes get asked what I do. If I say I'm a philosopher, the conversation often comes to a pretty grinding halt. When it doesn't, the next question is often, so what's your philosophy? <laughs> I usually take the easy way out. My philosophy, I say, is that everything is more complicated than you thought. Over the last two days, we've heard about the complexities of societal change involving the practices of dueling and foot binding. Today, Professor Appia concludes this year's Paige Barber lectures by discussing the life of honor. Please join me in welcoming Professor Anthony Appia.